Okay, so now for number two, which says sketch reference triangles in the first quadrant, label the legs of the triangle, and then we're going to label the whole circle with degrees and radians and identify tangents. So I'm just going to get my reference triangles drawn in, and I'm going to go ahead and label their sides. First one's a 30, 60, 90, so long leg root 3 over 2, short leg 1 half. Then we have a 45, 45, 90, so both legs are root 2 over 2. And lastly, a 30, 60, 90, so short leg 1 half, long leg root 3 over 2. The directions want me to label degrees and radians for all of the coordinates on my circle. Labeling quadrantals first is a good strategy. So radians first I would have 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. Then for degrees I would start at 0 degrees, then go 90 degrees, 180 degrees is half the circle, so add 90 more degrees that's 270 degrees, and finally 360 degrees around the full circle. So then we'll go do the same thing for the 45. So don't forget to mark your quadrantals when you're counting. So pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and then 8 pi over 4 is 2 pi. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for my pi over 6s, switching off to orange when I need to for my thirds. To count out my degrees, I'm actually going to switch to an electronic copy so we can see this a little bit better. We'll do our pi over 4's degrees first. So that's 45 degrees for pi over 4. 45 more would be 90 degrees, which we already have labeled. 45 more would be 135 degrees. 45 more would be 180. Then 225 degrees to 270 degrees. Then 315 degrees, finishing with 360. Okay, so now for our pi over 6s. Pi over 6 is 30 degrees, so we're just going to keep counting up by 30 degrees. So then the next tick would be 60 degrees, then 30 more would be 90 degrees. Then we're going to keep counting up again, so 120 degrees, then 150 degrees to 180, which we already had. 30 more degrees would be 210 then 240, then 270, 300 degrees to 330 degrees to 360. So now let's go find our tangent values. That's what these blanks on the outside are. So to find tangent, we're going to look at our coordinates. We know that we could find tangent of 30 degrees here, or we could call that tangent of pi over 6. Tangent's opposite over adjacent. So if I look at the opposite side, I have 1 half, and then the adjacent is root 3 over 2. So I'm going to have to multiply by the reciprocal, divide out those 2s, and get 1 over root 3. So rationalize and get root 3 over 3. So tangent of 30 degrees or pi over 6 radians is root 3 over 3. So let's find tangent of 45 degrees or tangent of pi over 4 radians. So we know tangent of this angle would be opposite over adjacent. Or we could also say that tangent of an angle is sine of that angle over cosine of that angle. So let's try to use that this time. We know that cosine is the x coordinate and sine is the y coordinate. So tangent of 45 degrees would be root 2 over 2 for sine of 45 degrees on the numerator divided by root 2 over 2 for cosine of 45 degrees on the denominator. And we get 1 for tangent of 45 degrees. Okay, so now we're to pi over 3. So we want to find tangent of pi over 3 or tangent of 60 degrees. So if tangent of 60 degrees is sine of 60 degrees over cosine of 60 degrees, then we can use our y coordinate for our sine of 60 degrees, root 3 over 2, and our x coordinate, 1 half, for our cosine of 60 degrees. So we're going to have to multiply by the reciprocal, divide out those 2s, and get root 3 over 1, which is root 3. Now let's do tangent of this quadrantal. We haven't done one of those yet. So labeling the x coordinate as the cosine value and y as the sine value, I can say that tangent is sine 1 over cosine 0. Ah, math black hole world explodes. It's undefined. So tangent of pi over 2 is undefined because I divided by 0. OK, let's keep these tangents going. So now if I want to know tangent of 2 pi over 3, I now have that reference angle of 60 degrees. We can say that this is still tangent of 120 degrees as well. So I'd have my sine of 120 degrees over my cosine of 120 degrees, so my y-coordinate over my x-coordinate. I simplify that down this time, I get negative root 3, which is really similar to the first quadrant. If the cosine value was negative this time, it made tangent negative. Let's see if that keeps happening when I do this next tangent value. Tangent of 3 pi over 4 would be root 2 over 2 over negative root 2 over 2. So negative 1, similar to 1 from before. Okay, one more in the second quadrant. Tangent of 5 pi over 6 also ends up having the same thing happen. We get negative root 3 over 3 compared to the first quadrant of root 3 over 3. Tangent value sine changes based on sine and cosine sine. Okay, so let's do one more together. Tangent of pi or tangent of 180 degrees. Well, sine is 0 and cosine is negative 1 for the y and x coordinate. So 0 over negative 1, well, that's just 0. 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. So try to fill in the rest of the tangents on your own. Pause the video and then come back and see if you're getting them correct. Continuing into the third quadrant, we see positive tangent values. And then at 3 pi over 2, we see an undefined tangent value. And then in the fourth quadrant, we see negative tangent values. There are the rest of the tangent values on the unit circle. Be sure to pause and check. Okay, so now let's use the unit circle to try number 3. 
So here we need to use the circle to find the following. So for the first one, A, I'm going to do sine of 330 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look at my unit circle and look for the sine coordinate, which is the y value. So 330 degrees is right here, and the y value is negative 1 half. So sine of 330 degrees is negative 1 half. Okay, what about tangent at 2 pi over 3? So 2 pi over 3 is right here, and tangent is negative root 3 there. Okay, I'll do one more with you after this. Let's skip to G. Okay, cosine of negative 3 pi over 4. So 3 pi over 4 is right here. So negative would just be me going just that same amount of rotation the opposite direction around the circle. So negative 3 pi over 4 is here. X coordinate here is negative root 2 over 2. So cosine of negative 3 pi over 4 is negative root 2 over 2. Okay, now it's your turn. So pause the video and go try the other ones in example 3. Okay, so cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. Sine of negative 3 pi over 2 is 1. Tangent of 135 degrees is negative 1. Cosine of negative 300 is 1 half. And then tangent of pi over 6 is root 3 over 3. Let's see what Peart has to say about example 4. Okay, here starts the Jeopardy portion of our lesson. We have tangent theta equals negative root 3. And theta has to lie between pi and 2 pi radians. So what is the angle theta? Pause the video, see if you can find it. If tangent is between pi and 2 pi, then I know it has to be in either third or fourth quadrant. Earlier we found out that tangent is always positive in third quadrant, so it has to be in fourth quadrant. So now I'm looking for sine over cosine, sine over cosine, sine over cosine, sine over cosine. Boom, there we go, negative root 3 over 2 divided by 1 half, negative root 3 over 1, and I'm at 5 pi thirds. Alex, what is 5 pi thirds? Go ahead and try B, C, and D, and then check back with me. Pause. Sine of theta equals negative 1 half between 90 and 270 degrees. Therefore, we're talking about second and third quadrant. Sine is negative, that's my y coordinate, so it must be down here in quadrant 3. Where is sine equal to negative 1 half? Boom, right here, 210 degrees. Theta equals 210 degrees. Tangent of theta equals root 3 over 3, in the same two quadrants. So once again, I look at here, third quadrant, tangent is positive in third quadrant, sine over cosine, sine over cosine, sine over cosine. Well, this one's root three, this one's one, ugh. Oh, this one's one over root three, which would be root three over three. So once again, theta is 210 degrees. Cosine theta equals root 3 over 2 between 0 and pi radians. Cosine is x coordinate, so that's positive in first quadrant. Root 3 over 2, cosine, boom, right there. Alex, theta is pi over 6. Okay, now it's time for you to try this on your own. Unit circle assignment 3. You got this.